Hey, people. I wanted to talk with you about a recent issue involving Aris modems on AT&T's Uverse internet service. The models are the NVG589 and NVG599 using the firmware update 9.2.2H0D83 with about 140,000 units affected. And I keep hearing different numbers. Uh, remember, I saw most often was about 140,000, but one site reported 200, about twice that. Now, do, 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 do. it was reported that the software on the devices would allow remote hackers to access the devices using SSH, so there's a security risk with someone being able to log into uh, those particular models of Aris modems. Now they could use something like CC sh C uh, CS shell, which would allow an intruder to be able to see, to view or change the Wi-Fi SSID or password, modify network configurations, refresh firmware from a file server from uh, the internet, or control the kernel module that injects ads into um, encrypt unencrypted traffic. And this was from an article on. Uh, from bleepingcomputer.com. I can't, I will have the article's name and the name of the site minus the .com because YouTube doesn't allow direct links uh, in the description below. Now it's not currently known if this is an OEM problem or an issue with the software added to the modems by the ISP. Now this is not the first time that Ares has had a problem with security issues with its modems. They've had security problems with their modems in a uh, 2015 and also in 2016 with the surfboard correction surfboard 6141 DOCSIS 3.0 modem and unfortunately they are not alone as other manufacturers such as Asus, Digicom and others have had security problems in the past too. Now the reason I'm focusing on errors is because this came out at the beginning of the month. I just found out um, while researching errors for a different story the other day so you should check with your ISP or your equipment manufacturer's download page to see for security updates or as well as maybe contacting customer service to see what they are doing about it. And I said that there is a really good article on this on um, bleepingcomputers.com. And the name of the article, which I'll have in the description below, is um, in quotes, so you can paste it on um, search for it. Three hardened backdoor accounts discovered in Eris modems. And it's a very thorough article. Uh, going down to which specific ports are used and how they're used to potentially exploit uh, the weaknesses in this particular modems. And that is all I have for now. Until next time, take care. Bye.